What's up, guys? Welcome to America Patriot News. And today we have an article for you guys, and it's about RFK Jr. And it's talking about who's going to pick as his VP. Well, let's take a look. RFK Jr. considering Aaron Rodgers and Jesse Ventura for VP. Robert Kennedy Jr. has confirmed he's considering New York Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers and former Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura to serve as running mate for his independent presidential bid. Kennedy told the New York Times he's considering both to round out the ticket. Rogers has previously expressed support for Kennedy, but has another year in his contract with the Jets, according to the New York Post. Ventura, meanwhile, is a former professional wrestler and served as governor of Minnesota from 1999 to 2003. He won the election under the Reform Party ticket and remains the only successful gubernatorial candidate to run under that banner. Kennedy's campaign, meanwhile, initially began as a Democratic primary challenge to Joe Biden, though he later opted for an independent run, which has seen him claim a substantive portion of public support in many polls. In a hypothetical race, including Biden-Trump, and other additional candidates, Kennedy, Kennedy currently boasts a 12.9% support in the real, real clear politics polling average. Neither Rogers nor Ventura appear to have publicly commented on the matter as of press time. So, what do you think? You're the uh, fan of Aaron Rodgers because he used to play for Green Bay Packers. Yeah, uh, I love Aaron Rodgers. He was our quarterback for a long time. Um, I never even considered him for a political post before, but I like him personally. What's really interesting to me is Jesse Ventura, because we got to see how he would handle himself as governor of Minnesota, and he did a bang-up job as governor. So um, it looks like Kennedy here, if he makes the right choice, uh, it's going to take a ton of votes from Biden. I mean, understand if you're a Trump supporter, this is all good news for us because Kennedy is not your typical third party candidate. 12.9%. I would suggest if it was head to head between Kennedy and Biden, it would be a minimum of 50 50. Okay. I think that that kind of support uh, Kennedy would have and, and, and Biden would lose a bunch to him, which the polls are reflecting. So uh, in the end, this is good news for MAGA, America First, um, people as such as myself and you. Um, this is going to hurt Joe Biden at the polls tremendously. Yeah, I, I agree. I think it's also uh, uh, Jesse Ventura, I think, is the more likely candidate due to Aaron Rodgers has another year on his contract. But he also might decide to retire. So we're going to have to wait and see. I think either one helps add value to uh, his presidency and will also help add uh, more votes to him. I think they both are net votes for him. I think he'll go from about 13% where he's at now uh, to probably around 15 to 16%. And then you got the other candidates in, in, in this run. And I think uh, this year you're going to have uh, third parties taking at least – anywhere from uh, 20 to 25% of the vote, which is going to hurt the Democrats tremendously because that's where the, most of that vote's coming from. It's coming from Democrats. It's not coming from Republicans. Uh, and I think it's going to, I think it's going to be an easy win for, uh, for Donald Trump at that point because the uh, cheating apparatus that can't, can't, uh, can't deal with that at that point. An extra person taking extra people taking votes, that amount of votes out of there, they, uh, there's no way they could get that kind of votes unless they go to all the way to 19, 19 uh, all the way to 1600s and take people of uh, and have people vote from back then. Right. Right. I mean, <laughs> that's absolutely the truth of it. Uh, the draw from the Biden vote is going to be substantial in a way we've never seen in American history before. And I, I tell you what, this is one of the final nails in the coffin of uh, President Biden. He he isn't going to be able to overcome this. He's losing, like, for example, uh, 
people under 30, okay, Trump is plus six with young people right now. And that's just one demographic group. Um, yeah, this is bad, all bad news for Joe and all good news for America first. Guys, this is the end of the video. We really appreciate it. Please hit that like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. And if you would, please turn the notifications bell on just so you know when we make new content. We'll be live tomorrow morning. Have a wonderful rest of your day.